Hi, chemistry team. I uh, thought it might be useful just to give a quick two-minute overview of what today is going to look like. Um, this is These are all snips from their student handout. Uh, first question is pretty straightforward. Uh, answer key is provided below. It's going to be on the slides and on the teacher handout. It's just finding the molar mass. Uh, next, you have to rank them. And in this one, it was pretty basic. Um, uh, just your reasoning of which one would have the largest mass. Uh, next, you had to explain why you did it. Uh, and so we ranked them like this, and then we gave the explanation below. Up to this point, it should take about 10 minutes just because kids are a little bit slow at calculating things. So, uh, oops, that might be the same. So, what we did here, and we felt like kids had a really difficult time seeing moles as a number, right? So before we gave them the answer, we want them to think about this, right? We want them to think about this, um, just that the number is all the same, right? So then half a dozen of eggs is six, half a dozen of cartons of milk is six, half a dozen blocks of cheese is six. And it's the same thing as half a mole of eggs, you're gonna have whatever half a mole is, right? Uh, then we finally show them the answer key, with the um, same little rationale down at the bottom. Uh, next, we go into the card sort game. So the, in their student handout, they will have the card sort game. Uh, what we did is we cut it out from the student handout. It will be linked in the teacher manual, but print it from the student handout, uh, just so the information lines up on the back. So on the front of the card, maybe I can bring one up real quick. On the front of the card, of what, if you can see them here, it looks something like this. And they've got to organize it, and they're going to be in teams, and they look over to see if they're correct. That's kind of the complicated version first. But what we do is an example, right? So we'll say, you as a teacher will say, grab five cards, five, two, and three, and sort by total mass. And they will grab cards number five, two, and three. They'll know that they are going to have to do total mass. They're going to have to rank them, and they're going to have to say why. Right? So that's just the example one. This is just a criteria for success. Uh, and then you'll go through the various rounds. Right, So you'll start with this, choose 1, 6, and 7, rank by mass. Uh, there'll be an answer key. You can go through it. Uh, grab 2, 4, and 5 and rank by number of molecule, answer key and rationale. Same thing, 1, 3, and H, rank by moles. Um, the game says you don't need a calculator, however, that's how we did it, right? Like, we did everything as grams to mole ratio. Uh, and we think this could take a while. The book says give two to three minutes, but we think it'll take a little bit more per round. Um, and then really just do as many rounds as you think. We found it to be pretty challenging. Then it gets to these reflection questions, which we also found pretty challenging. Uh, but they're here with the exemplar from the book uh, below. So this is not only in the PowerPoint slide, but it is also linked in the teacher document. So I hope you find this useful and it helps you find it a little bit easier.